Hey, welcome back. It's been a little while. Got my son here, Justin, and uh, we're going to do a unboxing. Uh, it's actually this guy here. Um, Justin, why don't you start unpacking? Hold on, let me give you the blade. There you go. Okay. Careful. Yeah, I'll take the knife. Okay. Go ahead. Well, he explains what's in this box. All right. So right now, it, he's opening, um, it's highly anticipated. This is the NREO Air um, AR glasses. Not VR, AR. Augmented reality. So augmented versus virtual. Virtual is basically you're closed off in an environment where you can't see anything else. But augmented is a lens which is transparent and you can still see other items. Now, that's the box, literally. So if we throw it away, can you, well, we don't need that one. Well, the box actually came from China. That's what I'm trying to tell them. Today is October the 24th, and it was anticipated to release, like, um, it wouldn't get to people's home until like either beginning of no, uh, November or or late October. So for whatever reason, I ordered on pre-order on Amazon about a week and a half ago, and then it arrived already, So which is really cool. So this is the in, in real box, so pretty clean. I mean, nothing too fancy, right? Oh, yep, you got the glasses. So you can see that. Um, why don't you start continuing to unpack it and, and see? Uh, so just like Apple, we got a little pull tab on the side. Is it satisfying? Not really. No, I mean, it's a pull tab. Okay, nothing fancy. Okay. A box inside a box. As always. Okay. Yep, nothing else in here. Nothing there, okay. And in here. Let's see how they open. You just pull up, yep. So you go, ah, uh, there you go. And it presents itself. Okay, so there we have it. It's like a little pill, it's like a pill box, right? Yeah. Before you open that, what else comes with it? It is a Let's see. pill. Okay. Um, so in here, Some I assume you get the how-to guide and microfiber cloth, that'll be nice. Didn't have to pay twenty dollars. Apple, yeah. hello. I don't think it's as good as quality as Apple for sure. Probably not. This is like paper thin, nothing fancy. Okay, yeah. just keep that in mind. And then your quick start guide. Okay. Which we'll we'll look through there eventually. Yeah. And then in the bottom compartment, we have. Some of the reviewers already done this already, by all means. But for us, we're not professionals, and we're like homebrew per se. That's why it's pretty interesting. So, yeah. what do we have here? Nose pieces. Two nose pieces. Okay. Um, is this the glasses piece? No, this is a this is a lens protector. Actually, it's close. They said that like oh, when you try right, to the... close it off because an augmented reality items because it's transparent, right? But if you really want to concentrate on the image that's being. Um, uh, Present it or, 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 or project it within here. It's better off to have a black background, uh, like when you're on a plane or isolated environment, or even watching you in a room that's late at night. If there's light, you don't want light to escape per se. You want to use this as a black backdrop. What else you have out there? I'm not exactly sure what these are. I they claim these are prescription glasses. I don't, I don't know how it goes yet. I do wear in contact, and you can see Justin wears glasses. Yep. So. I'm pretty confident these will come in place somehow for us down the road, but not right now. But I think, let me move this out of the way. I don't need that anymore. I we'll still need this though. Let's, let's pop these open and see what they look like. Okay, so it is just a little pill in a zipper. And yeah, just, there you go, there are your glasses. What's your first impression? They're a lot lighter than I thought I would be, they would be. Let me see. There you go. They're still pretty heavy. They're, you know what? I wouldn't say they're heavy. What they feel like is they're dense. Yes, I, think I was that's, gonna say that. Yeah, I think they're dense. Before we keep going with the glasses, there is another little compartment in here with your cable because... Oh, what is this then? Don't throw that away yet. That's a good question. What is that? We'll find out eventually. But these glasses do not have a battery power. What happens is you use this cable and you plug it into a device and it, these glasses use that device's power to power itself. So it's, it's, and you know what, Justin, unlike the other, I don't know, can they really see it? But I thought these lenses here, the projector will be vertical and not in an angle. So that should be pretty interesting. 
there's some tabs here to pull off the protector for the lens. Yeah. But it, it's it's in an angle. It's not. It, you, I would have thought it was been vertical, directly straight. But actually, it's not. They're in an angle. Yeah, I guess that makes sense from a projection standpoint. And then there's a sensor here. There's a sensor right in the middle to detect um, if there's you know is on your face or not. Um, and just like the Bose speakers, the sides here, these are actually Bluetooth speakers, if I'm correct. Are or, they Bluetooth or are they built in? They're built in. But I don't know is it Bluetooth or not, you're right. So the hinges is pretty sturdy, I would say. They seem pretty sturdy, but the whole entire glass is, is made out of plastic, seems like. Other than the nose part where it has a little bit of metal here and there. But overall, it, it's it's pretty sturdy. And the lenses are tinted. Yes, they are tinted. So, all right. what? So we got a couple units, but before we do that, we have something to compare it against, not just in size wise. This is the Oculus Quest 2. Two. So this is the size of it. So in comparison, if we put them by side by side, you can still tell that the Google Quest 2. Google? I mean, Meta. Meta, sorry. Meta. Meta. <laughs> Meta, Meta uh, Quest 2 is still quite larger than the AR glasses, just in comparison. Even from a side profile perspective, I mean, look how bulky it is. Again, this is VR and this is AR. So Justin, what do you think? Should we try the, um, I mean, I think the easiest thing to do would be using a, your Steam Deck, would you say? Yeah. Okay. This was supposed to be ours. What did, what did, what did you yeah, say after 10 uh, minutes? I'm, I'm, I'm getting too old. After like five, 10 minutes of it, I couldn't, I could barely see this thing uh, late at night when I'm playing with it. So I, I gave up and it's like, all right, you can take it. Yeah. But we still share it. It's still a family uh, type of thing. Um, so that cable there, let's see, show me both ends. Okay, so on this end, we have the typical straight, straight, end. straight end type C cable. And this one's a little bit curved. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah, so what happens is I think, I think when you put in the glasses, it does come down on an angle. Yep. I think that's the key, right? Uh, I don't know what this is, but it might be it's just static. Okay, so this would go in the, on an angle on the here. Um, you can, why don't you plug that up? I did hear some sound. That was like, the was that your, Okay, I'm gonna pull the stickers off of here. Go for it. Okay. And by the way, this is not sponsored. Okay, hang on. Am I gonna put it on first? You can, I plugged it in. Okay, you plugged it in. I plugged them in. Oh, dude. These are pretty legit. Okay, try and, oh, try and describe in as much detail what you're seeing. You know, so first things first. Um, when we look at a uh, the VR, all of the VRs has like screen, what they call the screen door effect, which looks like it lo it's coming off. Of, I gotta take my hat off. It's hard to use them. Without. And I still have to do adjustments. I'm gonna just for now, because it came straight out of the box. It's super clean. It's literally looking at like a, they're right. That the like I'm using my hand to 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 kind of frame it. The screen is, I mean, it's a large screen. It's a very large screen. And when you turn it, it goes with it because it's, this is a fixed screen, right? But it's very clean and very crisp. Now I am wearing contacts uh, lenses, so I don't need glasses. But it's really bright, really vibrant, and they're right. It's very solid. You can take. Why don't you take a look? Okay. You might need glasses. I don't know. Do you need glasses? Yes, you definitely do need glasses with this. So the prescription, um, that prescription piece, we will become useful eventually. Why don't you try it and see? Just try it's it. A, I don't right? think it's tailored to my prescription though. Right? I don't think so, but I don't know how it works either, to be honest with you. Let's see how, we'll see. Can we just rapidly fit this on here? Yeah. Does so, there have an instruction to show you how to do it? Right there away? is a user manual. Okay. Here we go. That's just the bug. Lenses. That's just prescription lenses first and then? It seems like it. So as, as my dad tries to figure these out, he didn't explain what the screen door effect was too well. Basically, the way pixels are laid out, they're in vertical and horizontal rows. So each one is laid square by square. In between each of those, there's a small, tiny space where there's a little black piece. 
right? Because you can only fit pixels together as tightly as you can. And with these devices, there's a little tiny gap between those pixels. I don't, I don't want to just yank these nose pieces out, so I'm going to hold off. Okay, that's fair. Um, and try to, it, but it is like a clip. It is like a clip, but I, I can't access it right now. But I guess because it's blurry, I'll keep trying it with me, okay? Um, let's see it. So, okay, so when I took it off my head, by the way, it did um, turn off the screen. But right now, it is, the screen's back on because it detects my head. So it's the, um, on the Steam Deck, is the screen still on or is it off? It is not. It is completely off, as you can see. So on the Steam Deck, the screen becomes on onto the glasses. So that's pretty cool. Okay. And sounds already coming through the. Uh, yeah, I can I can hear it too. Yeah, the sounds already coming through. So which game do you want me to try first? Just out of curiosity. Uh, I don't know what I have installed on here. Uh, okay. Um. Let me see here. I got. I know this is silly for me to just go through it, but I just want to try something. I just don't know what. What does he have on here? I just want something easy. I mean, everything he has is kind of. You know, Battlefront, right? Battlefront 2. Is that loaded on here? Or is that yours? I don't think so. There should be an installed tab tab in the top menu. Okay, all games 100. Oh, install. Okay, here we go. There install. Go. Install. I'm going to go use... Um, he has some weird games, dude. I mean, I just want like Madden on here. He doesn't even have Madden on here. I don't have weird games. I have a lot of indie games and a lot of shooters. Okay. Star Wars Complete Saga. Lego Star Wars? Yeah. Okay, he's playing Lego Star Wars. Okay, so it's... It's loading. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that sound was the launch sound, so... That was. It's, it's... It's really interesting because it's like... You can still see through... I mean, it, again, it's augmented, so it's just literally just like a... I can hear the music. He opened up Persona 5 Strikers. This is not... Oh. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay. So it's still loading. It's really crisp. It, it, it's a really crisp image. I am, am really... I'm fairly impressed with it. I don't, I don't know what he's doing right now. I just hear sounds from, from Persona 5 Strikers. I, I don't know why both games are on. I mean, sounds on, but I'm, I am in Star Wars by all means. Interesting. Okay. You know what? I think it, the image is it's really impressive. It's, it's literally looking at like a huge screen in front of you. I'm, I'm really impressed. I, you know what I'm more going to be impressed about? See you can doing. see, look at it. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna power up my windows because ultimately, what I want to use this, uh, these uh, glasses for, it's really to be, use it as a productivity, as like a monitor in some ways uh, for my laptop. So I'm gonna power up the laptop because it does have USB-C, and this particular laptop has a 37 um, uh, uh, G a GPU built in. So I will be interested to see. Um, how that would look. And, and this thing, I mean, this, these glasses really is just like a monitor. That's the, that's the big, good thing about these. It's nothing fancy about them, um, where it just, a, even though they're AR glasses, they are just literally glasses. It's just like a monitor. So I'm interested to see if I plug these glasses into my laptop, does it turn into a monitor right away? Yeah, it's a little hard to explain but the, the monitor is a little transparent. If you put your hand in front of it, you can see your hand. Yeah, you still see all the objects behind it. Well, the, I'm staring at like a black screen right now. Okay. So it's a little hard to see the darker objects such as the camera. But yeah, I can, I can't very clearly see my hand, but I know it's there. Like I can see the outlines of my fingers. Okay, let me try the glasses yeah, with it. and just unplug it. And I want to try plugging in the um into my computer. Let's see, where's my? So there's SD. a that's SD. Should try this the side. other side. Yeah. So. Okay. I 
Oh, dude. Oh, this is just insane. It's like having a, it's, it's literally a desktop right now. So I'm going to open up a browser. Now, because I'm running in a pretty high resolution, so everything kind of looks like ant. I am running um, uh, 1440p uh, on the laptop, but for say, I'm gonna go to YouTube just to try a video. Open up. Oh, dude. Image is amazing. It's super crisp. Um, even though this is only a 1080p type of, I gotta turn down the volume. No, that's brightness. I don't know how to. I think volume controls remain on device. Try it. He's right. So volume control is still on device, and it. it oh, Justin, when you turn up all the the full brightness, it's, it gets even more bright. Hmm. Dude, watching YouTube on this, I can go hours. The screen is so much larger. It's going to take a little bit of use to, because when you're watching a television, the television is stationary, right? And when you bounce your head around, in theory, the picture shouldn't bounce because the picture stays still. But right now, because the picture is attached to your glasses, when you move your head, the image moves with it. Um, you might want to try it maybe with the glass. I don't know how clear it will be for you. Would it fit or would it not fit? Yeah, they're big enough. <laughs> right? He, it, okay, so my dad isn't really explaining what's going on too well. Basically what you see is there's a, you have a monitor, right? It's just a monitor, and whenever you move your head around, so does that fixed monitor. So everything you're seeing is, how do I explain it? It's tomatoes, tomatoes. I, I explain the same thing, by the way. <laughs> he said I didn't explain it right. I just told him the, the, the picture is not as stationary as it, it anchors to the glasses so when you move it the image moves with it unlike a regular tv the tv stays still when you move your head the tv still stays still i i don't know i think i'm more trying to emphasize the point that you can see things through it and that is a little bit trippy now just so that you have some perspective right now the image you're looking at um from youtube is a 1060 by 60 uh and 60 frames per second i'm just yeah and that's the well at least this particular video I I um I select it, it's only that. Yeah, but just, it's, just find one of Marquez's videos or something. You want to see a Marquez video, alright. Okay. Marquez Brown's videos is always sharp. He always shoots in a very high uh, resolution type of deal. I turn down the volume for yep. you. Okay, right now I'm gonna push it to 4K. Does it make a difference? It shouldn't. I'm not really noticing a difference. Okay, this is 4K. I'm gonna push it down to back down to 1080p. Okay. The glasses are native 1080p, by the way, just so that you know. Oh yeah, so then of course it's not gonna push 4K. So the signal does just stay at 1080p. Yeah, it does. Okay. So. But it's still super sharp. Oh, yeah. Now, well, here's what I would also say, though. Um, at least the settings that I have right now, the contrast. I noticed the contrast is not as uh, wide as what I could see on my monitor. With that being said, I got, I got to, we have to read up the specs to see what, what are the actual specs. But... The image is super sharp. It's little. It's very sharp. All those 1080p, it, it's still very sharp. So now, these glasses will be these glasses will be interesting to see. Why we'll actually keep these? Because again, I, bought, I purchased on Amazon. I have every intention of keeping these glasses. But the thing is, I mean, even though th th they're reasonable, they're only three hundred seventy nine dollars. Yeah. But the fact remains that. Will I use these? Will I get a headache or, or will I get dizzy and things like that or vertigos? That's the thing I'm concerned about, if anything at all. Yeah, he gets very motion sick very easily. Like yeah. he can't play any third person, first person games like GTA's and Ogo. 
Cyberpunk's no go. You got uh, you got sick from God of War, right? Yep, I got even yeah. with that third person. I and if I play a um a, a too large of an image or play on too big of a screen, I. I I just can't handle that motion. So it'll be interesting to see how I, I would actually function with these. Right. But what I would say, it's the contrast ratio is not as good. But the image itself, no screen door effect, very sharp overall. Even though it's 1080p, it seems to be a little bit sharper than normal. I'm, I'm impressed. For $379, I am very impressed. I, I really am. Yeah, and it's also important to mention that this is a first-generation product. Yeah. It's only going to get better, better. from here. It, it, you know what, Justin, what I'm amazed about? How bright the image is. I noticed that, too. Now like, the, okay, we're, we're in a room with ceiling lights, right? Now, granted, these aren't the brightest lights, but you can still make out the image very clearly. No, very, super clear. Like, the whites are so bright that you, can, you cannot... Like when the when the, when the white background of the wall, you cannot see your hand. The the it, the image is that projected that strongly that the the actual image from the projection within the AR glasses, you cannot see your hand. So you have to turn down the brightness in order to function the um, yeah the trans the 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 AR aspects of it. Now keep in mind a couple things to keep in mind with these glasses. These glasses are. Like, like Justin just mentioned, it's Gen 1, and these are dual OLED OLED um, screens in here. I One in are. each eye, that's what it is. And the resolution is 1080p, so again, it's, it's really only going to get better. So it should be interesting, man. It, it, it's I, I'm extremely impressed. Now, while Justin's still trying these out a little bit more, they advertise that you can work with any type of Apple devices with it. But the, you have to note this. In order to work with any type of Apple devices, because they use this, a lightning cable, you have to go buy the Apple lightning lightning, lightning uh, the adapter. And then along the way, you still have to get the Unreal uh, adapter that plugs this adapter into this adapter so it can use it, the glasses. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but that's the only real way around to use Apple devices. Yeah. Well, welcome to Apple or a lightning cable, right? So not next year. It's supposed to be gone next year. Well, they've been saying that for a couple of years out. Well, hold on. They European Union your European Union. Okay. They or, did push that. Yeah. They did say they gotta standardize it. So out of the gate, I would say the unit is pretty impressive. And you have to excuse the background noise. We just got a puppy. Um it's it's impressive. I you know what? I, I don't think it's a bad product. Yeah. It's been I, a while since we reviewed something, but I was really excited to, to, to kind of go over these. Yeah. I just realized that we never talked about the actual buttons on here. So you have one long button that kind of just functions like your standard volume rocker. And then there's a second little button in front of that. And that when you hit that, it turns the screen off so you can see through it. But for right now, that rocker, at least the way it's programmed, it was not for volume. It was actually for the brightness right, of the screen. That's for the brightness. I'm I'm sure that you can control the volume somehow, either on your on your device or in like a laptop. But right now, as is, without reading any of the instructions or anything, the rocker right now is for the brightness control. Um, I don't know. One out of ten initial. Let's give it a give it a rating. One out of ten. What what would you give these initially? Initially. I would I would give it a seven and a half out of ten. Okay, so I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of right there with him. Really? I'm right. I'm with an eight. Here's the reason why I give uh, give mine an eight. I think for the build quality, I was impressed that because it's a first gen, first gen product and a a under four hundred dollar price tag, I would have thought it'd be be much more flimsy. And I'm not trying to stereotype. Um, you know china made products it is made in china like everything else but there's certain quality of certain china products right and this one does not feel that cheap while it's not top grade like an apple product um this i would say is it's, it's it feels pretty sturdy it does it did now it, it's not as nice as a a uh, bose or 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 some of the ray-ban uh, out there but it's close to it i would say um overall bulkiness though for glasses like these i think they did a pretty good job yeah well okay the only other glasses that i can think of in this style no no not even these because these are this is a vr headset 
are the Google Glasses. Yeah. That's what I'm comparing these to. Yeah, the, the original Google Glasses, which no one can, at least I couldn't get a hold of them. I think uh, no one can actually own them. You only can lease them. I don't, right? I don't know how it works. I don't, I, 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 I don't remember. I don't think you can own them, but that's the one with the little frame with this just single lens. It looks very cyberish. Um, I never got to use them. I mean, I think at most we saw them was inside a case in some store being displayed. Uh, there was one guy at, at my elementary school when I was in fourth grade. He had them. Wow. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I did not But overall, I, I think this unit will be a good beta tester. The good thing for us is since we're early um, purchasers, these glasses can be returned up to January 31st of 23. I'm not promoting that. I'm not saying you should do that or anyone, but it gives me a, a, a long time, a decent window, a good two months, uh, actually three months. Yeah, three months. 90 days to really try these out to see, you know, are these things worth it? I think this initial review, we kind of went over pretty much everything that we could. Mm -hmm. um, what I would say is that I think Justin is going to use it for a little while and I'm going to use it for a little while and we'll go back and forth. And then maybe a week or so we'll come back with a uh, updated feedback to see what we think of it. Or or we might not even have to review it again because we just send it back to Amazon. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know about you, but after my initial test, if we can get the prescriptions going, I think I would love these. Yeah. So, so he said he wants a he wants a pair already. Yeah. Now here, here's the last part of this story. It's the funniest part. I knew nothing about these glasses, nothing. And, and and one of the bad things about me is I basically just go buy anything on Amazon. There's packages every day, like everyone else, right? Um, it's Christmas every day here at, at the Lee household. Well, with that was that said. Um, what Justin did was was say, hey, have you checked these things out? I'll go check what out. He gave me the link. I looked at it. Oh, they look pretty cool. At first, I wasn't going to get them. But then one night, I was like, they're under 400 bucks. And not, I mean, they're cheaper than a monitor. And if they're really projecting a 130-inch screen, that's what they said. With the phone and Apple devices, it's a 130-inch screen. Yep. But when you go like an Android phone, because it's more... Um, uh, the product's made for more custom for the Android with that Nebula... Um, application that comes with it. I forgot the name. I could have butchered it. But then it extends to 200 inch screen. Okay. So it, the, the OLED in the lenses becomes even wider. Um, we do have Android devices. I just haven't tried it. But it will be interesting because Justin now has become a huge Android fan. So look for that review coming up in, in a couple weeks or, uh, you know, so we can check it out. Yeah. So he gives it a seven and a half. I give it an eight. Let's come back in a week or so and we'll update you. Uh, till then, it, it's good to do another vlog view, son. But we'll yeah. see how it goes. I have my own channels now. What is it? Uh, so my gaming channel is Juice V2, and my tech channel, which I haven't really been using, is just my name, Justin Lee. It's not like we have thousands and thousands of followers or anything like that. But again, this is just a hobby. Yep. Uh, it'd be great if you can subscribe and support us so we can continue to um, make content. Because, um, you know, as much as I like my day job, this is my dream job. <laughs> not that I don't like my or appreciate my day job, which I do. Um, so with that being said, till next time, right? Yep. All right, cool. Peace. Take care.